Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you. Built an asset leasing management app with AppSheet. Let's briefly go through the functionality that is carried by the app. Firstly, we have a dashboard, which listed the leasing asset, and grouped those assets which have reached or are over maturity date. Second, a leasing form that is integrated with, a barcode scanner, photo capturing function, and client signature. Third, master data registration for client and asset group. Fourth, auto notification sending to clients, such as loan notes, return notes and reminders for returning the leased asset. Alright, let's check the app user interface. This is the dashboard. The left panel is the leasing list, while the right panel is the collectible list. We come back here later, let's proceed to the menu first. We have three items in the menu. Let's check the client master first. All the registered client is listed here. And we may register a new client here. Click the row to check the detail information. We have the detail of the client on the top. And the leasing history log at the bottom. That's all for client master. Let's proceed to the next. The asset group registration. All the registered asset group is listed here. And we may create a new asset group here. Click on the selected row to check the detail. Alright, we have go through all the master data, let's back to the home dashboard. Left panel is the leasing list. It lists all leased assets that are yet to be returned, and yet reaching the leasing maturity date. While the right panel is the collectible list. It lists all leased assets that are yet to be returned, and already reaching the leasing maturity date or are overdue. Let's create a new leasing record. Select Client. Select Asset Group. Then enter the asset serial number. If the app is run on mobile, there will be a QR code showing here, which enables us to open the barcode scanner. Like this. Let's back to the form and enter the serial number. Then take a photo of the leasing asset. Then enter the lease term. Next, we may add more photos of the leasing asset to the checklist. Then an optional note. Lastly, let the client check the entered info, and sign.
and then an email with loan note will be sent to client. And the newly created leasing record will be listed in the leasing list. Let's check the detail of the leasing record. All the detail is listed here, with two buttons at the top. The email loan note is sending the loan note to client. While the returning action is to handle the returning process. Let's check how it works. First, take a photo of the returned asset. Then add the checklist, if any. Then enter note, optional. Lastly, get a signature from client. And the return note will be emailed to client. The returned record is auto removed from the leasing list. Let's check the detail view in the collectible list. All the info listed here is same as leasing detail. The only difference is there is an additional action, the reminder. The reminder is only applicable for those leasings term is due. Alright, lastly, let's check the lease log book. All leasing record is listed here, regardless of any status. We may further check the record here. Or resend the loan note or return note or reminder, which depends on the leasing status. Alright, we have go through all the function of the app. In next video, we will start in the workshop, with the action, data and slice setting. Please subscribe to our channel, so that you may be notified once the new video is published. Alright, we end here. See you guys in the next video. Bye.